electromagnetic interference or electromagnetic noise can disrupt the intended operation of a device, causing disturbances or malfunction. EMI can come from many sources, from natural effects like static electricity, lightning storms, and solar flares, to man-made sources like cell phone signals, radio signals, and even transportation systems. All of these potential sources of EMI can cause similar problems for electronic equipment, which is why EMI filters have become a staple of the electrical and electronic industry. Selecting the appropriate EMI filter is critical to achieving optimum size, performance, and cost. Different types of EMI filters provide different levels of suppression and have different characteristics. What works for one system might not work well in another. For this reason, it is essential to understand the considerations when selecting an EMI filter. The first step in selecting the right EMI filter for your application is reviewing the specifications and system requirements. These include electrical and operating requirements for your system. The crucial items in this category include rated voltage, rated current, ambient and operating temperature, leakage current, power system, number of stages, and high pop voltage. Rated voltage refers to the maximum line voltage the filter is designed to handle. Most single-phase EMI filters are rated to 250 VAC and will work at any AC voltage below that. But some standard single filters are available with 277, 300 VAC ratings for higher voltage applications. Three phase filters are rated to 480 BAC. Similarly, some three phase EMI filters can also be available up to 600 BAC and the DC filters up to 600 to 1200 BAC. Filters can handle short term voltage spikes, but consistently exceeding the rate of voltage can result in severe damage to the capacitors inside the filter. Rated current is the maximum steady state current that the EMI filter is designed to carry without exceeding the safe temperature range. The rated current of the selected filter should be equal to or higher than the maximum steady state input current the device will draw when powered. Filters can handle higher inrush current, but if the rated current is exceeded for longer durations, the filter can fail. Ambient temperature is the highest temperature at which a filter is designed to carry its full rated current. Most filters are ambient rated for 40 or 50 degrees Celsius. In some cases, the ambient temperature can be higher such as 65, 70 or 75 degrees Celsius. If the actual temperature exceeds the ambient temperature of the filter, the current must be derated. Operating temperature is the temperature range in which the filter can be safely operated. For most commercial filters, the operating temperature range is negative 25 to 100 degrees Celsius. For military applications, this can be negative 40 to 100 degrees Celsius. The actual operating temperature in any application must fall within this range. Using the filter at the temperature outside this range can severely damage components. Be sure to choose the filter that meets the operating conditions of your application. Leakage current is the current that flows from light and neutral to ground when line voltage is applied to the filter. This is caused by line to ground white capacitor in the filter. The EMI filter with white capacitors will add leakage current on top of that contributed by the device itself. In many applications, Regulations can limit the total leakage current of the equipment. Be sure to take this into account for, to avoid compliance problems with safety standards including EN 6095-0-1 for information technology equipment, IEC 6601 for medical equipment, and EN 55014 for appliances. Utility power and power system configuration can vary from one country to 
Apart from standard single phase, three phase delta configurations, there are other special configurations such as split phase, corner grounded delta, and high leg delta. There are many more configurations too. EMI filters are typically designed for single phase, three phase delta, three phase Y, and DC circuits, but these can be used in other configurations with proper selection or slight modifications. The input power type must be identified and a matching filter must be selected. For special configurations, contact the filter specialist for recommendations on standard filter options that can work on those and still meet the requirements. Number of stages refers to the number of circuit repetitions inside the filter. The single stage filter has one circuit. If the circuit is repeated, it becomes a dual stage filter and so on. Increasing the number of stages improves filter performance while optimizing the filter size. High power voltage is a quality test where a high DC voltage is applied between the lines and ground to check the insulation strength. This can help determine any weak points in the insulation or manufacturing defects that can lead to the line voltage encountering the filter chassis, causing unsafe conditions. The applied high voltage is a function of the rated voltage of the filter as specified by safety agencies. These parameters serve as a first pass in selecting the correct EMI filter. This will also help narrow down the pure EMI filter options that are suitable for the specific application. Astronine TDI provides durable and dependable EMI filters for a variety of applications. We have a team of EMI filter engineers that can design an EMI filter to meet your specific requirements. For more information, contact us at www.astrodyntdi.com.